Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies may I have your attention, please? Ladies and gentlemen. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? You are about to experience now. These are the guys that did the porting work and the head work on the KLX build. Come join along as we head into the shop, find out a little bit about what they did. These guys are awesome, by the way. Skyler and Dave, top-notch dudes, man. Hey everybody, this is Skyler over at Lindsay Machine Racing. We're actually up here at his flow bench right now. He's kind of explaining, uh, kind of explain the parts, how you guys do it. Um, first of all, we have our flow bench here. Um, <clears throat> We basically have different adapter plates for different cylinders and cylinder heads. Um, with this KLX 250, we uh, <clears throat> didn't have his current cylinder, so we grabbed another Kawasaki 250 cylinder so that we could um, use it as a fixture to get a baseline um, as far as flow on the intake and the exhaust. Um, put the cylinder here in our flow bench here. Um, it's off of the KX250F um, on our digital flow bench here. Um, then we assembled his cylinder head um, all with new valves <clears throat> and freshly cut the seats to get an accurate flow number off the cylinder head. Um, then we assembled the cylinder head with a set of test springs similar to this so that we can compress the valves at different lifts to get a different flow number to check how much flow we're getting throughout the cylinder head. Uh, then we have a fixture. Um, this is a this cylinder head fixture will pretty much work on most Kawasaki's, um, Yamaha's. Um, we have different fixtures for different heads. Um, this is like a 250. We have a, a Honda 450 cylinder head fixture. Um, you know the three intake valve for a, a Yamaha a bunch of different cylinder head fixtures so that we can test cylinder heads um, and is what this does this is allows us to um, see how far the valve openings are um, from from zero all the way up to you know what your camshaft is lifting your valves to we always test over um, <clears throat> what your camshaft lifts to so that if you decide to do do a bigger camshaft that the head is capable of flowing um, do you have some examples of heads you can show us that you've ported? Um, we've got a bunch of cylinder heads here. This is like our test shelf of just a, a bunch of different cylinder heads here. Um, so for like this is a, a Honda that we've that we've started to port and uh, you know filled with epoxy and ground through and you know rewelded it and, and a bunch of different stuff. So we do a lot of Honda heads here. Um, you know, here's another Honda head that they've, they've kind of started on. Um, so each, each cylinder head takes a little bit different stuff. We do a lot of Hondas like I said, but um, you know, here's like a, a Can-Am DS450 that we're working on that we put a bunch of epoxy in um, on the floor. Um, and then we just have a bunch of other cylinder heads, a um, bunch of different years of Hondas. Um, of Yamahas and things. So <clears throat> what's the idea of porting? Why do people port generally? Um, to increase the airflow which will increase horsepower and increase torque. Um, awesome. And without a flow bench you have no idea of how much air you're gaining. Um, and so without that it's hard to say exactly how much power you're getting from it. It's just a tool to make cylinder head porting more consistent and and better so you know where you've started and uh, where you're ending up. It's basically a dynamometer for your cylinder head um, but in <clears throat> trade instead of showing horsepower and torque it shows airflow. Awesome. And this is a display of the actual changes as you Yeah test. so you can look at that graph there and uh, the, the bottom graph um, the purple graph is a base flow of your intake, um, you know, it, all the various lifts and it shows you basically um, how much airflow is flowing through the cylinder head um, at, at a depression of 28 <coughs> inches per of water. 
Awesome. Um, so, and then you can see gains all the way across the board, so there's nowhere, you know, on the intake graph that uh, we've lost any flow. So you should see a, a decent gain on from that cylinder head. Awesome. Thank you, Skylar. That's what we needed to know. Check it out. That's a flow bench, guys. If you guys are planning on doing any porting or polishing or any work like that on your head, that's... This is the way you got to do it. Make sure you have someone that's got a flow bench and kind of knows what they're doing and can make changes and try to improve the flow in your head. So, thanks, Skyler. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. What do we got here? This here is a graph from the um, porting and polish work that's done on the KLX 250 head that we're modifying into a Bill Blue 351. This particular graph shows the increase in airflow measured on the flow bench from the porting and polish work done at Lindsay Machine Racing. These top lines represent the intake airflow and the bottom numbers across the bottom represent the amount of lift on the camshaft. The, the um, numbers on the side is the amount of airflow so, you know, this does kind of correlate with RPM and airflow, you know, throttle opening, that kind of thing. But on this top, you can see this, the very top line is the, the airflow going through the intake now, since it's been ported. The second line down was the stock intake airflow, okay? So they've increased everywhere along from basically off idle all the way up and even past and beyond the camshaft size that I have has an increase in airflow. They feel like it'll probably translate to a couple horsepower. Now down here on the bottom, this very bottom line that eventually crosses over and goes up higher, that is the finished exhaust flow numbers. Um, you can tell right in the very beginning here there was a slight reduction in airflow very low velocities. Um, it didn't take long to, I mean it's not significant there really. And about right here you can see that the airflow through the exhaust valve significantly increased as we go along. We're talking, you know, 10 CFM or more, which is a lot on a little 250 head. A 450 head you might get 30, 40 CFM more airflow, but um, this increase in airflow is going to translate to increased um, power in the motor. That along with all the other stuff that um, we've done. So I just wanted to show you that graph. When you, If you ever decide to have a head uh, ported and polished, you want it on a flow bench so that they can actually measure the change and be able to demonstrate to you that, that they have a change. So um, enjoy folks. We're getting ready to put this motor back together very soon. The Factor out.